Hi gentlemen, I hope that you're all doing really well. Today I am going to be talking about signature scents. Now these are my recommendations if you are looking for a signature scent in 2024. These are the fragrances that I recommend. Now if you know me and you know my channel, I do recommend a lot of niche fragrances which do mostly come at a higher price tag. I have a lot of videos talking about designer fragrances so if you want to look at that I can you can go back in my channel. And of course I can do an updated version of that too but today I kind of have a mix of everything. We have a few designers, a few niche, a few Arab perfumes so let's just get into the list. I am going to recommend you what I think are the most memorable, sexy, and just overall 10 out of 10 signature scents for men. These are going to make you stand out. And I know what I am talking about because I have over 1000 fragrances in my collection, but not only that, I have smelled thousands of fragrances over the years. So I know what I'm talking about. I've smelled a lot of really great fragrances on men um, in my experience. And these are what I think really make a great impression. The first fragrance might be a bit of a shock to you. If you know me and you know my channel, you know that I'm not a fan of Dior Sauvage, but this is not the original Dior Sauvage. This is the Elixir. Now, Forget what you know about the eau de toilette, the eau de parfum, whatever, whatever, the body spray, this and that. Forget what you know about that. This is a completely different experience right here. Dior Sauvage Elixir, I am telling you guys, it is one of the sexiest fragrances on a man. My God, I don't know what they did, but thank God for the Elixir. I, like I said, I'm not a fan of the Eau de Parfum, not a fan of the Eau de Toilette. I think it smells really basic and very synthetic. The Elixir is completely different. You definitely have the DNA that is Sauvage, just kind of hidden in the scent. But there is so much more to the Elixir. There is more of a sweetness. There is more of a vintage touch to this scent. It is incredible, you guys. You still have like an aromatic, slightly spicy vibe, which is in the original Dior Sauvage. In here, you have some cinnamon, nutmeg, you have lavender, licorice, but it just feels overall more smooth, a little bit sweeter, more, like I said, vintage and masculine. And it is just incredible, you guys. Like there is actually a fragrance that whenever I smell it, on somebody, I sometimes mistake it for Dior Sauvage Elixir, and it is Haltan by Parfum de Mali. I love this fragrance. I think it is absolutely a 12 out of 10. And if you wanted to make it your signature, you have my tick of approval 100%. It works all year round, summer, autumn, winter, spring. It works for the office, for a date, uh, for running errands. It works for every single situation. So. If you wanted to make this your signature, I totally give you the stamp of approval, Dior Sauvage Elixir. And it's super long lasting and a beast. Next up, we have a very expensive fragrance. This is from Roja and this fragrance is called Isola Blue. Now you can see that somebody wears this fragrance and it is actually my partner. He loves this scent. And honestly, you guys, I'm going to say something right now. I think that this fragrance DNA, which is very similar to Terre d'Hermes from Hermes and Basso from Suspiro, this DNA is my favorite DNA. In 2023, 2024, this right here is my absolute favorite DNA on a man. And I'm saying it right now. There is something about this spicy, dry, fresh, woody scent that just drives me nuts like up the wall nuts i am obsessed with it whenever my partner wears it i'm not joking you guys my eyes roll back in my head and i think it is incredibly sexy like really really sexy because it smells fresh but not in a citrus way it's fresh but it's also spicy but it's also dry and very woody at the same time and it just leaves this beautiful cloud behind you and it is incredibly intoxicating. And something that I will say about this DNA is that you are going to smell really sophisticated and classy if this is your signature scent. So definitely I could not recommend these fragrances enough to you guys. 
I wanted to also talk about Suspiro Basso because they are exactly the same. Really, guys, they are like 90% similar, I would say. Isla Blue does smell a little bit more um, airy and a little bit more maybe refined, but Basso is even better in a way. So I'm going to tell you something right now, whether you get Isla Blue or whether you get Suspiro Basso, it does not matter. Like it doesn't matter at all. So get one of the two, whichever one you find cheaper. But I am telling you, I'm looking at you directly in the eyes right now. Get one of these scents for your 2024. I'm not joking. No, they're not paying me to say that. This is literally my favorite DNA and I could go on and on about how sexy I find this DNA. So I love it. And another thing that's fantastic is that it leaves the most intoxicating cloud behind you. So this is the sort of fragrance. Don't just spray it on the tester strip and smell it and decide what you think about it. Wear it wear these fragrances and you will see the reactions that you're going to get from people. It is spectacular. So, so Spira Basso, Isla Blue, same DNA, same longevity, same projection. Just get whichever one is cheaper. I will link them both down below for you guys so that you can find them. Next up, we have something a little bit more unique of a signature fragrance. This is Perfect Oud from Maison Sur. Now I have seen more and more people talking about this scent. I saw like a celebrity maybe he was in a Netflix show and he was saying that this is his signature fragrance. And I really, really love this scent. I feel like I'm one of the only people to really recommend it. Perfect Oud because it is very unique, but not to the point where you smell strange. Like you're not going to smell out of place by any means. It is just a really beautifully polished Oud fragrance. Now what you get from this scent is a little bit of a leathery facet overall. It's very woody, but in more of a clean way. You have some juniper, I think you have leather, you have some oud, there's a bit of a smokiness going on. But like I said, I just named a bunch of notes that are quite intense, oud, leather, juniper, but trust me, it's not aggressive. It's not aggressive at all. It's this very clean leather woody scent. It is so good, you guys. Really, there is something very polished, very attractive. Again, very expensive and sophisticated about Perfect Oud. If you wanted a signature scent that kind of gives off a more, a more boss vibe, like maybe a little bit more of like a businessman vibe, I would really recommend Perfect Oud. It is spectacular. Like really, it's a fantastic fragrance. One of my favorites from Maison Sur and definitely the sexiest for men in my opinion. So check it out. It leaves a beautiful cloud around you. It lasts a long time on the skin. Overall, it's just a 10 out of 10 fragrance and I have recommended it for a long time. I will continue to recommend it because more people need to try this one. It's a fantastic signature. Next up, we have Casamirati's Mephisto. Now, I was thinking, do I recommend Zerzhov Alexandria 2? Do I recommend, I don't know, another Zerzhov fragrance as a signature? No, I recommend Mephisto. This is really the ultimate signature fragrance, really a really fantastic signature fragrance for men, especially if you're a man who likes something more fresh. If you are a man that likes more of a fresh art fragrance and you want your signature scent to be, yeah, more fresh, more light, more airy, right here. Mephisto is the most beautiful fresh fragrance, but it smells strong enough. It has a strong enough character to be a signature scent for you. So you have some citrus in here. You have a little bit of like a, an airy light kind of quality going on. It's very hard to explain. It's musky, slightly powdery, very fresh and clean though. It has this really fresh, crisp, clean white shirt vibe about this scent. Like I said, citrus, a bit musky, a little bit green, just such a gorgeous fragrance, you guys, really. And surprisingly, I don't know how, but this fragrance, although it's a fresh scent, it lasts a long time on the skin. Mephisto is a 10 out of 10. And a lot of you guys always ask me, do I like the 
other version of Mephisto. I think it's Mephisto Gentil something. Yes, I love it. It has a lot more iris inside of it, but I do still, I think, prefer the original Mephisto because it's a little bit more fresh, but I still love the other one as well. So get whichever one you prefer, but this DNA is just so freaking good. If you want great value for your money, <laughs> This right here, this is Amory from Arabian Oud. I don't often recommend Arab perfumes. I'm definitely willing to, you know, splurge on the ones that I like and recommend them to you guys. But this is one that I bought towards the end of last year. I bought it for my partner and I freaking love it, you guys. Amory from Arabian Oud, it is incredible. Oh my gosh, like, okay, the, the DNA is not groundbreaking, but it is so freaking good. You have this really, like, bright citrus fragrance with tangerine and bergamot and I think some pink pepper, but it has this beautiful sweetness, but like a really smooth sweetness running through it. You have a lot of vanilla and you have some musk and woods in the base and some amber, of course. It is just overall so good, you guys. It's like that fresh kind of sweet ambery scent with a nice kind of clean muskiness going on a 12 out of 10 fragrance that is super long lasting and i recommend it to all of you guys so if you can find this one cheap online pull the freaking trigger you guys you're not gonna regret this one it is fantastic another question that i often get asked is do i still like tuxedos it's still one of my top fragrances for men Yes, 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 you guys. For me, tuxedo would make the most spectacular signature scent for a rich man because this is expensive. Like I bought this with my own money, like I think two years ago. And yeah, it was really expensive. Tuxedo from Yves Saint Laurent, you guys, is so addictive. To me, this is such a sexy scent on a man. What you have is this beautiful, like fresh green patchouli scent with a sweetness, like a vanilla kind of ambriness running through the fragrance. And it just smells, it just smells so good, you guys. You have some pepper in the top, you have patchouli, you have violet leaves. So it definitely has this kind of spicy, a little bit greenness going on throughout the entire scent. Then you have this sweetness running through it and it is just really, an addictive 12 out of 10 fragrance. I love it so much. I will forever recommend this fragrance to you guys because for me personally, it's one of my absolute favorites and it forever will be. And it's just overall really great. It doesn't have like a beast mode longevity. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It probably lasts on the skin around, around seven hours with a nice projection within your arm's length. But it's not like a an oud for greatness, um, like a Baccarat Rouge. It's not gonna last that long on your skin, but it is so worth it. The scent DNA, if I smell this on a man, I'm gonna lose my control. Next up, I am going to recommend you guys Cedric Boise from Mansera. I know that this is kind of like an old fragrance in the fragrance community, but I do not care. It still smells so incredible in 2024. This has been kind of talked about as like an Aventus clone, an Aventus DNA. And although it can be true, I do feel like it's very different actually from Aventus. And I love it because of that reason. Like it kind of stands on its own two feet. Although it's not a unique fragrance, it is so good for what it's worth. You can find Cedra Boise at really affordable prices online or even in your city where you live, you can always find a bargain for Mansera fragrances. And Cedra Boise is just a foolproof scent. It's a bright, citrusy, fruity, sexy, masculine fragrance for a man. You have that really appealing, fruity, citrusy vibe that women love on men. And it also has a nice cedar wood note in the base, like a very woody kind of base going on. It's addictive, it's fresh, it has a little bit of that fruity kind of sexiness. It lasts a long time, it gets compliments, it works 
works in any situation, in any occasion, in any season. So I really recommend it. If you don't have this one in 2024, definitely pick up a bottle. It can make a fantastic signature scent. In fact, I wish my partner wore this one more because I love the way that it smells on him. Next up, we have a more unique signature fragrance. Now, this is gonna be for all of you gentlemen that definitely want something a little bit more distinguished, a little bit more sophisticated. Maybe you're quite into your fragrance collecting already and you want something a little bit more impressive as your signature scent. Maybe something like Cedric Boise is a little bit too predictable for you, a bit too easy. This fragrance right here, this would make a fantastic signature for a man. This is Hal Fetti from Penhaligons. And I know, I know a lot of you guys love this one and you guys always ask me what I think about it. I've had this bottle for a long time and I really do love when I smell this on a man. Hal Fetti on a man is so perfect, you guys. It's a very creamy, um, almost nutty, woody fragrance. You have oud and amber and leather and cypress. But for me, what I get from the scent is a very, a very, very woody fragrance. The oud is more subdued. It's not this kind of animalic, skanky. This is much more of an approachable oud fragrance. It more so gives off a woody um, tone. So the oud in here, don't worry, it's very subtle. You mostly get this beautiful woodiness mixed with a little bit of a leathery touch, a nice creaminess going on. And you have that little cypress touch as well. It's fantastic, you guys. Like, really a great scent. I would really recommend this one. In terms of woody fragrances, it is fantastic. Another fragrance similar to this profile would be something like Oud Maliki from Chopin or Juicebox Beat Cafe. But I think Halfetti really makes the great one, the best one for me, because it has a nice airiness to it. It has a playfulness going on about it. So you can wear this one in any situation, any season, and it's going to smell fantastic. So love it. Really recommend it to you guys. Long lasting, smells great. And I recommend it to somebody who wants more, like I said, more of a distinguished and sophisticated signature fragrance. This will be perfect for you. Don't judge me. I have a blocked nose today. I do not always sound like this, but today I have a blocked nose because I'm getting over being sick. So that's why I sound like this. I have found a replacement to Leighton from Parfum de Mali. Again, if you watch my videos for many years, you know that Leighton by Parfum de Mali still to this day stands as one of my favorite fragrances for men. It's very sexy, very mass appealing, very, it, it's, it's just perfect. This fragrance right here might rival something like Parfum de Mali Leighton. This is Desir Toxique from M. Mikalef. Now, I know a lot of you guys know this fragrance because it's not new. I think it came out in 2019. But I recently got another bottle of it and I forgot how incredible this scent is. It is so aromatic and spicy, but in more of like a green, fresh way. And it has this really addictive sweetness going on in the scent, like a really addictive sweetness. Like whenever I smell this on a man, my head turns like... It, my neck almost breaks when I smell this fragrance on a man. Like really, you guys, there is something incredibly intoxicating about this fragrance. So what you have in Desire Toxic is a lot of cardamom. You have tonga bean, which brings a sweetness. You have cinnamon, which brings a warm spiciness. You have a cannabis note in here and an oak moss note, which brings this kind of green touch to the scent. And it's just spectacular, you guys, really. This is a show-stopping scent. I will say, however, I would recommend this as a signature for sure, but be careful because it can be a little bit strong. Just as Leighton can be a little bit strong for some people, Desire Toxic can be a little bit strong for some people, but really, you guys, this fragrance for me is rivaling with Leighton. It is incredible. It's long lasting, big compliment getter, projects. It smells so addictive and it works in any situation at any occasion. Really recommend Desire Toxic from Emmy Kalef. I am so happy to have this back in my collection. It is pure perfection. Another love, another obsession is Hubigant 
on Redez Abyss. I have not heard anyone talk about this scent. So if you want to smell unique, if you want to have a signature that is going to blow everyone away, not only because of its uniqueness, but also the fact that it's just super addictive and sexy, you must check out Ombre Des Abyss. Uh, you guys, this fragrance to me is so good. There is something, again, incredibly addictive about this fragrance. Now, Ombre Des Abyss, like I said, it is flying really under the radar. So if you wanted to find a signature scent that is very unique, you must try Ombre Des Abyss. It is so good. You have mint and a lot of vanilla. You have geranium. You have some other aromatic touches in here. There is like the minty green freshness mixed with a really addictive, like slightly bubblegum sweetness. Ombre Des Abyss is a perfect signature scent that will work in all seasons, all occasions. I do, like I said, recommend it for more of like a sophisticated signature scent because it has a slightly vintage touch going on in there. Think of like Le Mal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It doesn't smell the same, but that kind of sweet aromatic fougere vibe, a little bit is like that is going on in Ombre des Abyss. So I love it. I really recommend it to you guys. Incredible fragrance that I find super addictive on a man. I have complimented people with this scent mostly my partner. It just is so good. Really, really, really recommend. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video hearing about the best signature scents for men in 2024. Let me know your thoughts and let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. I can do a designer version. I can do a strictly niche version. I can do an Arab version. Let me know, guys, and I will speak to you really soon. Bye.